Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will discuss principle of virtual work applied for beams. Today's problem is using the principle of virtual work, find the reaction RD for the system shown in figure below for any position of a vertical load P on the beam AC as defined by its distance X from A. In this problem is given a beam AC hinged at A and supported at B by a roller. Another beam BDE is hinged at E and supported at D by a roller and at B there is another roller. So the lengths are given here and a load P is applied here at a distance X from uh, point A. So in this problem we need to find reaction at D R D due to this load P for any given distance X. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us take beam AC. So at A it is hinged at uh, this point F there is a load P is acting vertically downwards and there is a reaction at B due to the roller of uh, other beam RB is acting upwards. So now let us give a virtual displacement of delta B at B. So the beam will assume this position A, F prime, B prime and C prime. So here we have triangles A, F, F prime, A, B, B prime and A, C, C prime. So first let us take these two triangles. These two are similar. So from these two triangles we can write uh, this displacement here is delta F and here we have given a virtual displacement of delta B. So at A delta A equal to 0. Now let us take these two triangles A F F prime and A B B prime. So from these two triangles we can write delta F by X equal to delta B by L. So from this we can write delta F equal to X by L into delta B. Now let us write virtual work equation. So the equation is minus P into delta F. This is delta F plus R B into delta B equal to 0. So minus sign here is because delta F is in the upward direction and P is in the downward direction. Here plus sign is because RB is in the upward direction and delta B is also in the upward direction. So plus. So in this equation we can substitute for delta F that we have seen in the previous slide. So that is X by L into delta B. So after solving this equation and simplifying we can write RB reaction at B RB equal to X by L into P. Let us call this equation 1. Now let us take another beam B D E. So at E there is a reaction R E acting vertically upwards. At D there is a reaction R D acting vertically upwards. And at B R B that we R B reaction at B that we have seen in the previous slide is acting vertically downwards. So now let us give a virtual displacement of delta B at B. So the beam will assume this position E D prime and B prime. So here we have triangles E D D prime and E B B prime. So here the displacement is delta B and at D displacement is delta D at E it is 0. So from these two similar triangles we can write delta B by A plus L equal to delta D by L. So from this equation delta D can be written as delta D equal to L by a plus L into delta B. Now let us write virtual work equation. So the equation is minus RB into delta B plus RD into delta D equal to 0. So here minus sign is because RB is acting vertically downwards and delta B is given in the upward direction. And here plus sign is because RD is acting vertically upward direction and delta D is also in the upward direction. So let us substitute uh, uh, delta D that we have seen in the previous slide into this equation. So we get minus RB into delta B plus RD into L by A plus L into delta B equal to 0. So from this equation we can write RB equal to L by A plus L into RD. Let us call this equation 2. So equation 1 we have seen RB equal to X by L into P. So let us equate equation 1 and equation 2. So after equating these two equations and simplifying we can get reaction at D R D equal to P into X into L plus A by L square. 
that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching